City of Austin and Travis County officials are now carefully watching the creeks and low water crossings. But even with all the rain we have gotten so far and will get, Travis County has not activated their emergency operations center. Case and Eugene Cho is joining us live to explain why. Eugene. Yeah, Robert, I'm near Shoal Creek. This is where the water level rose really quickly yesterday, and even now the water is pretty close to the trail. The county tells me the threshold for activating the emergency operations center is when they need multiple agencies to coordinate and work together. So, for example, when one police department, APD or the sheriff's office, can handle on its own what's going on. The county tells me their focus right now is situational awareness. They're watching the entire county at this time, but they know unincorporated areas to the south and southeast have low water crossings every quarter of a mile. Travis County has access to traffic cameras to monitor our streets, but in those more rural areas, there aren't any. So county officials tell me it's really important that you sign up to receive emergency warnings. Eric Carter says the county uses Warn Central Texas, but when they use it, it's not to tell you there's a flood watch or warning for the entire county. They target specific areas. So if you're at risk, the county will use that system to let you and your neighbors know. If we've had homes that are flooding, and we know they're flooding, then we can draw a circle on the map and uh, uh, launch a notification to those folks that you're in a high risk area or recommend you evacuate. That's part of a process. Now, the EOC can be activated at any time, so if they do activate that, we'll certainly let you know. And I mentioned I'm near Shoal Creek. This is where a landslide happened last year after a rainstorm, and tonight we are getting a new look at some additional damage that was done to that slope. So I'll walk you through on KXAN News at 6, so stay with us. Back to you, Robert. Thanks, Eugene. The EOC is not the only center, of course, that monitors severe weather. You might recall that on Tuesday, Governor Greg Abbott ordered the Texas State Operations Center to elevate its readiness level from normal conditions to increased readiness. That's as several areas, including Central Texas, dealt with severe weather. The State Operations Center is operated by the Texas Division of Emergency Management at the DPS headquarters in North Austin. It operates 24-7 and provides information on emergencies to local, state, and federal officials.